This talk is about uh, anti-patterns. I might, I might talk about test smells. So what I mean by, by test smell is that it's, uh, uh, it's some kind of a hint. Uh, it might be this, the shape of something or the name or some kind of a, uh, a pain or uh, feeling I get from, from code, in this case test code, uh, that suggests there, there might be an issue. Uh, so it's not an absolute, yes, that's a problem. It's more like uh, there's something funky about this. Uh, I should like, look at it and, and uh, see if there is something behind. Uh, not necessarily, but that might be the case. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a programmer by background, uh, also a trainer, uh, coach. Uh, I, I work at a consultancy, and, and basically I spend half of my time working with code, half of my time with uh, you know, methodology. So uh, this is clearly based on the, the, the other half, where I, I worked with code in a bunch of different organizations, and uh, sort of lucky to get exposure to all kinds of code bases. Mostly Java, and the examples are Java, uh, but I think that this these uh, anti-patterns apply to many languages, not just object-oriented languages, uh, many others as well. So here's a, uh, here's an, uh, a piece of the abstract. Uh, if you read the abstract for the session, uh, I'd just like to point out the, the, the really important parts of the abstract. Um, tests need to be maintained. And that's, uh, you know, you hear a lot about, uh, when you start talking about uh, thorough unit tests or other kinds of automated tests. Uh, one of the main concerns uh, that seems to raise is, isn't that a lot of code to maintain? Isn't it a burden if, if we write so many tests? That's, that's actually exactly what we're trying to avoid by uh, being able to identify and fix test smells. The fact that tests are unmaintainable, that's, that is the ultimate test smell. Uh, so we're, uh, we're going to look at uh, a few uh, particular sort of names for things that I, I, I've given or somebody else has given and some heuristics around how to, how to think about these things. Now we're talking about smells, which, which means it's not an absolute, this is good and this is bad. Sometimes what's good in one context, you uh, go to the next source file 